Okay, uh, well, my name is Hal Marcus. I'm an artist, but I'm also a gallery owner. I'm a father, uh, I'm a husband, and I'm an art dealer. So, uh, I'm a peacenik. I, I, uh, I'm nonviolent. I'm uh, vice president of the Vegetarian Society of El Paso. I'm a vegan. I don't kill anything. I don't eat any animals or animal products. I have good karma. And uh, my health of my mind, body, and spirit is my first priority. And I work every day at my artwork. And I'd like to think that I'm getting healthier every day and my artwork's getting better. I started being an artist, or I decided to be an artist when I was 15. At Coronado High School, I had a great teacher. Her name was Isela Fulton. And I decided in her class that I was going to be an artist because I like the uh, tradition of art. I liked being a bohemian. I liked pursuing beauty. I liked uh, the lifestyle. I liked everything about it. So I said to myself, that's what I'm going to be. And from that moment on, that's what I was. Uh -huh. You know, I have, have had some ups and downs, but I never gave up the dream of uh, being an artist. So here I am. Uh, I'm 66 right now. So I guess that's like 51 years later. 51 years later. Wow. And uh, I'm still doing the same thing. People say I'm talented. I said, no, it's 10% talent and 90% hard work. I grew up in a family that really had no art in their home. Uh, never went to a concert or dance performance or art show. So you, you, people say, well, where did you get it from? I mean, I guess I got it from my art teacher when I was in high school, I guess. Or I just got it through God or through the universe. I don't know where I got it, but I got it. <laughs> now I'm sort of like an expert on it. <laughs> it's funny. I think the neat thing about my art gallery is that we have stuff for a dollar. We have stuff for five dollars. We have stuff for ten dollars, twenty dollars. And we have stuff for ten thousand dollars. It's affordable and... You know, I, I think that's one of the reasons for our success is that we try to make uh, personal relationships with people. And I know sometimes I go to Santa Fe or these other places and the, you walk into the gallery and the, the people don't even talk to you. I mean, it's, it's, kind of, it's, uh, it's kind of intimidating. And people think that that's the way all art galleries are, but not ours. The other project I just completed was doing a mural for Providence Trans Mountain. And that's like my opinion is the best thing I've ever done. Um, it's similar to what I'm doing right now on this painting right now. It's basically El Paso and some musicians and some churches and some, you know, the bridge that goes over to Juarez, the Civic Center and uh, the architecture downtown, the Crest Building, the X, the Spaghetti Bowl, the people, Juarez, El Paso, the streetcar, Sunset Heights, UTEP. Um, so that's, I worked nine months on that. I just finished it March 20th. So I've got a really full life, you know, and then I got the gallery that, that we maintain where we have 100 different artists that we represent. We collect and sell early El Paso art. Uh, I don't do it all by myself. My wife is the director of the gallery and then my gallery manager, Ruben Vasquez. He's, uh, couldn't do it without him. So uh, I have uh, lots of projects. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of them all, really. All right, so what I'm going to do is like stick pieces on here onto the sun. 
this is going to be like the <laughs> the main deal you know the sun is the main deal you know that right <laughs> uh the sun that's my logo you know if you see my my son i had a dream the other night that picasso actually it was very very vivid he said hal take care of your eyes isn't that interesting that he would come to me and tell me to take care of my eyes so you know sometimes my eyes get itchy because i work a lot and I might like, you know, rub my eye, but now I don't because I remember Picasso. So I get like a Kleenex or I put in some eye drops or something like that because he told me to be careful with my eyes. I, I thought that was really kind of cool. What a, what, how, how weird, you know, to have a dream like that. And very real. So right now I'm, uh, Sticking the gold leaf onto the sun. Kind of has a uh, natural element. It kind of goes where it wants to go. And the little flakes stick where they want to stick. I did a painting called Ninos del Sun. And actually the original is in the... Um, county courthouse downtown on the third floor as you walk in it's a big sun and it's got all these children playing around it it's like 12 feet long and that was the first time i did it and it, and it has green eyes so that was the the eyes of my daughter and gosh i did that back like in 94 95 and i just kept on using the sun afterwards you know it just ended up on my on my calling cards and it became the logo of my, my gallery. But people don't realize that if the sun was like 20 degrees hotter, it would be like 120 degrees outside and we'd all die. Even in, in ancient cultures like the Olmecs and the Aztecs and Egyptians, you know, the, the sun is like awesome. So anyway, it just ended up being like my logo. And then it has the Dove of Peace on top of it. I'm, I'll probably have it for the rest of my life. I, w I didn't really say, hey, I'm going to go out and make a logo. But it just ended up being uh, what I do. The first time I had gone into uh, the Hell Marcus Gallery, I was going to buy the first piece of art for for my wife, and we go in there, and uh, we had met Hell Marcus's wife, and we're looking at all the different items, and I'm visually impaired. So I'm sure it was a little unique to have uh, somebody walk in with, with the white cane and say, you know, we're here to look at art. And, uh, and she brought out Hal Marcus. And Hal Marcus was just amazing because he uh, walked us through and told us about the different art. And we uh, purchased the art that we wanted. But he said, he goes, I want to show you something. So when we're in the gallery, he took us up to his private studio where he, uh, where he creates his art. And he says, I want to show you something. And there was a piece that he had been working on, and he was done in acrylic, but it was layered so thick on the canvas. He says, I want you to touch this, this piece of art. And, I, and so he's describing to, to me what the art is, and I'm touching it. And as I'm touching it, you could feel the different layers of paint, and he's telling me the colors uh, as I'm touching them. And here is this world-renowned artist. I'm in his private gallery. I'm touching... A piece of and you don't get to touch physically touch uh, pieces of work from artists like this and he's letting me touch this this piece of art that he's working on which is worth thousands and thousands of dollars and here I am physically touching it and he's giving me the description of what it is and the colors and bringing it to life for someone who normally wouldn't get a chance to ever touch something like this because you don't touch all the artists who have been great you know from Picasso or Van Gogh or Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo or Rembrandt, they did it 100%. So if you really want to do something great, then you have to give it all, no matter what. And then after you do it, you have to get it out there. You know, so you're not going to end up being able to do it, like getting into a gallery or a museum real quickly. <laughs> Sometimes it takes 
a long, 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 long time. For a long time I had, you know, hundreds and thousands of works of art and nobody wanted them. So I ended up just giving them away. Most of my big pieces, like at the county courthouse and like at the Chamis Hall and like at the uh, Children's Hospital, like at UTEP, like at the Scottish Rite Temple, they're all on loan. I just gave them to them, basically gave it to them or loaned it to them. So I needed, I needed to put my stuff in places and they weren't going to buy it. So what am I going to do, you know? But little by little, you know, people start realizing what I do and they like it and now I can sell it. <laughs> so that's my advice. Just do it wholeheartedly. <laughs>